Okay, so my apologies for no video. My phone had kind of been acting up and then it decided it was done. So I lost my phone for a few days before I was able to get a new one back up and running and unfortunately I lost all my video footage. So making up for lost time, here's the puppies. Everybody's becoming friends. <laughs> so all these puppies in here becoming good friends with these sheep. You're not too happy about it, huh, Sweet Pea? This is little Sweet Pea. She lets me touch her, but she's also somewhat skittish. This girl, though, she's my best friend. So anyhow, uh, the puppies were actually in here for a few days, and then we had some bad weather, and I don't like to pin puppies up when we've got bad weather. I've had experiences before where we have um, ant swarms uh, just because it rains a whole bunch, so puppies ah. were let out for a couple days, and uh, during that time, I was uh, doing a little bit of chicken training. Actually, before I put them in here with the sheep, I did some uh, chicken training with them. Um, the little pin around the chicken coop. I've got some little chicks in there. I don't have mamas walking around with chicks. If I did, then those mamas would be able to protect those babies and teach the puppies a thing or two, but instead I have to take on that role. So they've been around the chicks. They've been able to see them through the cage, but not actually get to them. So I took the time to take, you know, each puppy in there one by one so we could just hang out and get all nice and calm and comfortable with the chicks and they did great with it and I had footage of course but that footage is gone so anyhow uh, during the little break that we had with rain where the puppies were out of course the puppies were running out around just doing whatever they please but I also uh, took a little more time with them and the chickens again so they're doing great though I'm, I'm not paying really any attention to them at this stage. Once they go into the bonding pens, the only time they really are around me is when I feed them. And that is precisely what I have done. So I normally keep them in here about a week all together. Uh, since we had a break, I'm probably going to keep them in here for a little bit of extra time. And then uh, this Thursday, they are also going to get their shots, uh, their rabies shots. Uh, they're also going to get their uh, uh, distemper, parvo, um, I think it's like a five-way shot. It's a number of things. I never remember exactly what it is. but. These guys are almost ready to go to their homes. They're doing good, barking up a storm at night time with mom and dad. Letting all, the, letting all the coyotes know they need to back off. They're doing great. Also, while they've been out of the pen, I've seen them uh, going on patrol with their parents. They've done that before as well. They're doing a good job. They really are. And here we have Mr. Zeke. He's over here checking on our hen. We've got a hen that decided to go lay some eggs over here. She's a half silky, half Jersey giant. There she is. 
She's sitting on so many eggs that they don't all fit underneath her. She's doing a good job. Mr. Zeke, he's the last of Bobby Joe's puppies. He stayed with us a little longer just because um, his owner is also the owner of little Miss Pink Girl. And her name, gosh, I can't remember. It starts with an M. It's cute. It's a name I've never heard, though. So, pardon me for forgetting it. <laughs> I don't have it straight just yet. Mr. Zeke is shaping up really nice. Hi, Duke. Duke has been such a good daddy. He's such a good disciplinarian. You know, once the girls, um, Lady Bird or Bobby Joe, once they start to wean their puppies, he's the guy that takes over on parenting duties. You're the best. You're such a good boy, Duke. Okay. So I will be getting in touch with everyone. Uh... Some of you have already gotten in touch with me, in fact, about uh, scheduling a date and time to come pick up your puppy. Um, so they will be pretty much ready to go by April 28th. So um, <laughs> Is that Bobby Joe? Bobby Joe, are you dead? Yes, it's Bobby Joe. Your puppy's almost bigger than you. Hi, Bobby Joe. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Little lamb. It's Bobby Joe. Give you a belly rub. Yes. Look at him. Doing such a good job. He's really kicking in, doing his job so well. I love it when I get to see my puppies getting older and doing their job. This is what happens when Lana takes care of things. everyone. Let's do a head count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who are we missing? Let's see. Who are we missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's number nine? Let's see. See which color I'm missing. So we've got black, green, orange, pink, purple, and blue girl. So it's blue boy that we're missing. Where'd he go? Once these puppies go to their home, Miss Maple's going on a diet. When puppies are around, Maple gains weight. She has all sorts of tricks and and ways of getting into puppy food. Miss Maple's a little overweight at the moment. Hi, little Zeke. Hi, little boy. Let me see your face. These puppies are so cute. At this age, they have this funny little hairdo. See, it's like a little mask. You got this little fro. That's puppy fur. That's your cute little puppy fur. <laughs> You're adorable. And there's Maple. Giving up on life. <laughs> Hi, 
Now, this puppy fur is especially bad at catching debris. So, when everybody picks up their puppy, their puppy gets a bath. So, they don't look like this. They get all brushed out. But you see Duke, you know, his fur doesn't really catch debris. So, when his adult fur comes in, he'll be a lot cleaner. Won't be this big of a mess. <laughs> see Ladybird as well. Very clean fur. Yeah. Good mama. That's your little nephew.